Hi, uh, my name's Diane Hubbard. Uh, I run my own business, which is Green Footsteps, and I'm involved in air tightness, energy assessment, and infrared thermography. What's been the best thing about today's event? It's been great because it's been a day on air tightness. It's been wonderful um, because uh, air tightness is something that people either get very interested in or very bored with. Um, and so it's been great to be amongst people who are into air tightness. And the demonstrations are brilliant because they really show you somebody's enormous experience, lots and lots of practice and improvement um, and showing you the best ways of doing things. Um, and just the sheer, you know, amazing understanding of the problems and the solutions um, and to hear about materials and products and technology and project case studies, such a good range of things to hear about. The key learning actually was a question asked by somebody in the audience about doing dot and dab. It's interesting that the new paint on air tightness products are meaning you can tackle dot and dab with a very thin layer. You know, the Aerosana are much thinner products than having to do a parge coat, so you don't lose as much space, much dimension. Do you think air tightness and its impact on indoor air quality will be significant for UK construction? Oh, absolutely. I mean, seeing it already. I mean, the work that I do is across new build and refurbishment. Refurbishment is my real interest, and I deal a lot with problems with uh, indoor air quality, inadequate ventilation in existing buildings, whether that's owner-occupied or, or rented. So it's something I'm very, very familiar with and we have a, a very severe problem with that in the UK. Um, I think it will be significant um, unless we address a balance between air tightness and ventilation and in, inevitably there will be indoor air quality issues in buildings. So it's important for all buildings, be they airtight buildings or leaky buildings that we have a much more robust and better understanding of the importance of a very efficient ventilation strategy, be that by mechanical means or by some form of passive means. But the key is that there's adequate fresh air to meet occupants' needs. But air tightness is essential anyway to reduce building issues, um, condensation risk and improve energy efficiency. But this must be balanced with a robust ventilation strategy. So it's a question of building tight but also ventilating right.